up my third eye reptilian enthusiast. Today we're going to be talking about something that really breaks my heart and is near and dear to me. I have witnessed it, I have seen it, and it happens too much in captivity. That is metabolic bone disease. I'm sure you all know what metabolic bone disease if you own a reptile. Hopefully you've never seen this in your own reptile. It is pretty devastating, but I'm going to go over what that disease is. So metabolic bone disease is a calcium and phosphorus deficiency in your reptile's bone health. The reason why reptiles get metabolic bone disease in captivity is because we're not providing the proper things for their bone health and growth. So the number one thing that you need is the proper UVB bowl. I do not recommend at all the coil UVB bulbs that come in the reptile kit, and I will show you guys what those look like here. What they can do is they cause blindness, but they also do not give off that proper UVB that your bearded dragon or lizard, whatever you have, needs to thrive and grow. What that bulb will do in the blindness scenario is it will actually destroy the retina and cause pain to your lizard or reptile. So we do not want to use those. We want to avoid those completely and use the tube UVB bulb. The one that I personally use and recommend is a T5 HO output 10.0. And what that UVB bulb does is it goes in a light fixture and it gives off the proper things that they need to have their bones grow and be healthy and thrive, you guys. What do you do, mamas? The second thing that you need to prevent metabolic bone disease is calcium powder. And I personally use the one with D3 because I want that extra vitamin in there. But calcium powder also is going to help their bone growth. And what you do with that is you dust their crickets, their roaches, their worms, whatever, your veggies, your fruits. You don't want to overdo it, but just sprinkle a little bit on top of the food that you give them daily. This is going to give them that vitamin that we need to provide to them when they are not in the wild, when they are in captivity. Sadly, we are the reason why reptiles in captivity get metabolic bone disease. The number reason, in my opinion, is like I said, those pet store kits that we purchase for our lizards or reptiles have that coil UV bulb, and most of the time, pet store workers do not go over the fact that they need calcium powder, that they need a tube UV bulb, the fact that they need this to not get this disease. Metabolic bone disease is non-curable, but it is reversible. If it is not too far along where your reptile has a crooked spine, a rubber jaw, you most likely can reverse the effects of metabolic bone disease. What is my mama's doing? She loves to climb all over everything. I've mentioned Ella before, and this is her, you guys. Um, she is my savior. I lost a bearded dragon named Frankie when he was just a juvenile, and then I adopted Aloe, <laughs> hence the name. Aloe is a healing plant, plant bringing me to life, and she's helped me get through so much after that situation. But back to what we were talking about. Metabolic bone disease is reversible. Thank the Lord. The way to reverse metabolic bone disease, if you don't have that UVB light or maybe you've had it for more than six months, it is time to change that UVB light. You need that calcium powder. You also want to use Reptiboost to boost their appetite and give them the nutrients that they have been lacking ever since they have gotten that metabolic bone disease. Most of the time when they have metabolic bone disease, they don't have the strength to eat, to hunt, to lift their heads, to even move and get up to their lamp for heat. I want to tell you guys a little story that's very, very personal to me. So a few months ago, I believe it was in November, yes, I went to visit a family member. Granted, he's in high school. His bearded dragon had metabolic bone disease. Why? He didn't have the UVB bulb, he wasn't using the calcium powder, and he wasn't feeding his bearded dragon enough. He wasn't knowledgeable because when he got his bearded dragon, the pet store didn't give him this information. This is Duke then, and this is her now. The way I helped him was I rushed to the pet store, I got that tube UVB bulb, I used calcium powder on her food, I gave her extra food, and I also had to syringe feed her Reptiboost. The Reptiboost boosted her appetite and gave her the nutrients she was lacking since she wasn't able to eat as much on her own and was lacking that calcium in her bones. She has done phenomenal. And what breaks my heart is a lot of vets aren't exotic vets or, you know, see reptiles all the time. But I freaked out in that moment and I did call a vet and I said, hey, listen, this bearded dragon has metabolic bone disease. She can't lift her head. She's lethargic. What do we do? They said, bring her in and we could put her to sleep, take her out of her misery. What? Don't we want to help her and show her a life worth living? So I said, you know what, that's not going to happen, and I rehabilitated her, and she is doing phenomenal, and now my family member knows exactly how to take proper care of her. 
Reptiles are very, very hardy animals, and it sucks because they live through miserable conditions because of us keeping them in captivity. If we don't provide them the proper stuff that they need to survive, they're gonna die or they're gonna get the metabolic bone disease and suffer. So the other thing is, metabolic bone disease unfortunately is not curable. They will forever deal with that, but the effects are reversible. And what I mean by that is as long as your bearded dragon didn't get a super soft rubber jaw or its spine wasn't completely bent and, you know, out of shape or maybe it got paralyzed because of how severe that metabolic bone disease was, you're in high hopes and you can help this animal thrive and get back to health and happiness just like Duke did. This story just hurts me so bad because it just shows that a lot of people aren't educated properly about these things. If your reptile has metabolic bone disease, those are the three things of advice that I have for you. If you do have an exotic vet that actually knows about reptiles, they probably will give your reptile an injection of calcium straight into the bloodstream and to get to their bones as soon as possible and give you some pain medication to help your reptile not feel so lethargic and miserable and to get it feeling back to its normal happy self. And that pain medication will also help it want to hunt for its own food. But like I said, that Reptiboost was literally a life changer for her. It gave her those nutrients that UVB bulb that she didn't have was the complete reason why she had metabolic bone disease. The other thing I did want to talk about as well, because I'm talking about, you know, calcium in their bones, is calcium sand. I'm not going to rant on and on about how sand is horrible, but the pet stores also, you know, it just is hilarious to me, but so, so sad. They scam customers or reptile owners into believing that reptiles live in sand in the desert. Most of them don't. They actually live in grassy lands or they live on clay rocky land areas. Calcium sand is super dangerous. I mean, I'm all about not using sand, but calcium sand, if you're going to use sand, just stay away from the calcium one. And the reason why is too much of a good thing is poisonous. We all know this. You know, you're supposed to take two ibuprofens, but instead you took the whole bottle. What's going to happen? You're going to get sick. You're going to throw up. You're going to overdose. And that is not healthy whatsoever. With calcium sand, it's the same thing. It's a reptile or lizard's natural instinct to get as much calcium as it can to stay healthy and to feel great, right? So if you're putting that calcium sand in in its enclosure, what is it going to do? It's going to consume more and more of it because it wants to stay healthy and survive, you know? We all have a survival instinct. Please do not use calcium sand. That's really all I'm saying. It can still cause impaction too. That is a huge misconception that people at pet stores like to tell you or reptile enthusiasts if they're not properly educated. Just please stay away from calcium sand. It can actually be toxic. It has alkaline in it, which actually can cause your reptile not to be able to break down its food that is in its belly. Just calcium sand is a huge no-no. Okay, I guess my braid looks like a branch. All right, Elle, you can hang out there. I'm gonna close out this video. Like I said, if you have a reptile or lizard, whatever the case may be, reptiles or lizards, we both know that. If you have a reptile that has metabolic bone disease or you see one in a pet store that has metabolic bone disease, please speak up because you can literally save its life just like I did with the one of my family members. They were completely in denial, but they allowed the help. And most of the time, people are just uneducated, which is why their reptile is like that in the first place. They need a UVB bulb. They need that calcium powder. They need that rep to boost to help boost their immune system and get them to have an appetite if they're lacking those nutrients. No calcium sand. If you guys really, really, really know that the bearded dragon has had metabolic bone disease for a very long time, like I said, its spine is crooked, it's paralyzed, its jaw is like rubber. It really needs to go to the vet to get pain meds and also the calcium injections to help that animal feel more comfortable and get back to good health as soon as possible because it is lacking so much calcium. And like I said, the reason why bearded dragons and other reptiles get metabolic bone disease is because of us. We're not giving them the proper things that they need to thrive. So please, I hope this video helped any of you that have experienced this or if you see someone you know have metabolic bone disease in their reptile, please show them this video. Let's change lives, you guys.